Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the AZ login action with GitHub and how do you use these AZ login actions without having any secret, without having the need of managing the secret and that too with OpenID Connect. So this is the option which we'll be discussing. Now, if you are using the GitHub actions with your Azure account or to manage your deployment pipeline or to manage your infrastructure pipeline, then this video is for you. You may have seen that when you use the AZ account to connect and you use this particular task in your GitHub environment, usually requires a service principle to be created in your Azure account, which looks like something like this. So I have these many Azure app registration of service principle, which I have created. And the problem with these service principle or the app registration is the secret. As you can see here on my screen, most of my app registrations secrets are either expired or very soon going to be expired which means that i have the headache of managing these secrets very often whenever they are supposed to be expired yes of course i can invest on automating the rotation of the secret but that is again requires some level of skill set and developing such kind of a script what if i tell you that we have an option now which we can use with the as it login and this service principle to manage the deployment without having the need of any secrets and certificate and that is what i'm going to discuss with you in today's video so if you look at the option which we are going to discuss with this particular task which is azure login task of the github action this is the open id connect option which we'll be discussing the the term they use the open id connect oidc and that's the most recommended option it now what do you need to do so first of all we need to create the new app registration so i'm into microsoft enter id which is now a new name for the active directory app registration from here you can give it any name so i'm going to give it as in the oidc connect and then that's the demo 001 let's say that's the name i would like to give to my open id connect you can leave the default setting as is click on the registration or the register button that will create the app registration and the enterprise application as well so my app registration has been created and you can see that the enterprise application is also been created which can be confirmed from this particular option right now what i need to do is i need to simply grab the client id which is this value and the Active Directory, which is the tenant ID. So these are the two values I need to copy to use it. These values in the pipeline, like we do, it, uh, we used to earlier in our pipeline. So let's copy these values and I'll keep it in my notepad. Next value I need is the Azure subscriptions. So you can copy the subscription ID from any resource which has been available within that subscription. This, this is my subscription ID, which I'm going to copy which is what we would require now with that let's go to our next settings and which is going to be the client and secret setting that's where it is i'll click here and we have to specify the open id connect setting now you can obviously if you were using the legacy way of connecting or using the service principle you would have created a new client secret but in this case what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this new option federated client let's click on add credential and then we are going to choose a scenario from here if you look at these are the scenarios which are available and i'll be using this scenario for now this use case i'm going to use this github option now obviously as we have chosen the github actions we have to specify some of the settings and so the settings is going to be the name of my organization so let's pick up the name of the organization from my github account and i'll be specifying that next i have to specify the repository uh, for the pipeline so what i'm going to do is i am going to specify the repository so i already have a repository which i would like to use and that's going to be the github pilot demo repository next you have to specify the entity type which means that when in which particular trigger point we would like to use this open id connect so there, these are some of the options environment which means that when you use the environment tag for deployment or having the approval in 
place in your pipeline then this is what you can specify if you choose the environment you have to specify your environment value name so you know that the environments you typically find under the settings in your pipeline or in your repository and you go to the environment and that's where all your environments are available so this is what you have to specify if you are choosing the environment option for an example here is the development environment i have so this is that option or the next one we have the branches on which particular branch you would like to run or trigger or use this particular open id connect so let's say the branch name i would like to specify main and as soon as i'm specifying these values it is generating the subject identifier right and this is what my subject identifier is repo colon the name of the repository forward slash the name of the branch or name repo for uh, colon the name of the organization then the name of the repository colon the reference and then, then the name of the branch which is going to be refer for slash had sort of slash main branch right and finally you have to specify the name of the credentials so you can specify anything just the auth um, any name you can specify and that's it you can choose and click on the add button now going back you can specify the open id connect is for the specific tag or specific uh, pull request and all that two information you can get it from here for example if i click to these links then that will give you some idea about what whatever i'm talking about what are the different options available where exactly those options can be configured these all are given here right so let's come back to a our configuration which we are using it only for the main branch so let's click here so our open id federated client is created next what we need to do we have to create the secrets in our pipeline and we have to specify these values so let's go to the pipeline or let's go to our repository not the pipeline of course i'll go to the settings and then from here security section there are secrets and variables so i'll click on the action and then i'll already have these secrets what do you need to do i'm creating these secrets which i'll be using in my pipeline for the demonstration so if you do not have these secrets you can create these secrets yourself so let me just modify the client id and secret and other values so let's use our value of the client id which is this one as I'm modifying the existing secret, so I'm just going to update it. But if you don't have the existing secret already available, then you have to create new one in your case. So updates are done. My tenant and subscription are going to remain as is, which I have updated yesterday. So let's keep it as is. Now let's go to the code section where we are going to create a new workflow. So I'll click on action and create new workflow just for this particular demonstration. I'll click on this option, set up a new workflow yourself. I can simply just copy from here for the demonstration. I'll go to the section and I'll use it as is, right? Now, if you look at here, we have used the permission, right? Which is this section. So ID connect write permission and content read permission. And next you have is the run id i'm running it on the ubuntu latest so you may possibly you are running your pipeline on your private runners absolutely fine and then this is the task i'm using that's the one which we were mentioning about it right now if you look at this task this is the version we are using it right now there are some secrets which we are using it like this right and finally we are just doing the as an account show so that we display whether the, we are successfully able to log in or not and which account we have logged into and that is it so let's commit the changes i'm directly going to commit the changes to the my main branch so that my pipeline gets triggered or if you're committing your changes to your feature branch and then you if you have the uh, open id connect set for the pipeline then you can of course create another open id connect here add new credential you can specify the github and this time you can select the entity type as in pull request so you can have multiple of them there is no issue with that right now for the demonstration i'm just directly using the main branch one and i'll commit the changes say that file could not be edited okay that's because i might have a main branch or the main.yaml file already created so let's give it a name as in another demo 
and then I'm going to create commit. So that is it. So now we have got two of them created already. Let's go to the actions. Hopefully the action is already been created. Yeah, we have the main and more, uh, main another both of them are triggered right now. So let's see which one is the one which we are using for the demonstration. It says that no subscription has found. You might be getting the same error in your case as well. The reason for that is the subscription which or the open ID connect which we have created or this client which we have created, this client does not have the access to Azure subscription, right? So let's go to our Azure subscription. I can go to the subscription here and then from identity and X management, I have to specify the right level of permission. So let's go to add role permission. So if you are getting the same error, that could be the issue. Now here in the role permission privilege role assignment, I'll be selecting, I'll click on next and then use user group or service principle option. I'll be selecting this option where I need to specify the service principle which we have created. So let's give it a name of the OID connect which we have created or the service principle which we have created. That is it. Let's click on the next file to finally review it. Click on review and assign. So that's going to assign the permission. Now, of course, to trigger the pipeline, again, I need to make some changes or maybe I'll, I'll just simply trigger the pipeline one more time. Say rerun all the jobs, trigger it and see if that works. And this time I haven't got any error. And now if you look at carefully, what we have here is the login details, like how exactly it is trying to log into the system. It's trying to use the OIDC, which is this, right? And OIDC login is successfully. Now, another thing to remember here is basically I have not used any password as such and I have not specified any password. So if I go back to the settings and then the environment or the environment variable or the secrets, which we have created, we have just created a client ID, subscription and tenant. And also in our Open ID Connect app registration, we have not specified any secrets. So there is no headache of regenerating any secret at all. And that's the beauty of this Open ID Connect option. And that's why it was most recommended one. Now, just to show you whether my subscription is successfully or my pipeline is successfully completed or not. As you can see, it is displaying the result of my command, which is az account show command. And that's where it is. That's the result. Right. And that's it in this demonstration. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.